Blender Animation. In this video we'll look at animation in Blender. If you open Blender, switch to the animation layout, change the last frame to 30. See how we can move through a scene's frames using this bar. Let's scale those frames by sizing this lower bar. Move to frame 0 and press I for insert keyframe. Choose location. Move to frame 30 and repeat. Now move to frame 15. Press G for grab move and Z to constrain the movement to the Z axis up and down for Blender. Move the cube up about its own height. Press I and select location. Now the cube is on the floor at frame 0 and frame 30 and in the air at frame 15. Press the play button and see the cube bounce. If you view examplesanimation.html using live server, you'll see an exported version of this file. Animation involves adding keyframes. A keyframe isn't limited to location. It can apply to rotation, scaling or many different properties. Or you can get the animation from an online source. Mixamo is a great site for characters and character animation. To use the site you'll need an Adobe account. You can sign up for one for free. When you enter the site it will show the default character. Press the upload character button and choose night.fbx from the Blender Night folder. Press next. Agree to replace the current character with your selection. The Cartoon Knight has replaced the default character in the main window. Now switch to the Animations panel. The first animation to set is an idle animation, one that will run by default. Choose a stationary one, one where there's no feet movement. You'll see your character using this animation. Now select the Download button and in the box that appears make sure with skin is selected. Then press the download button. The name of the download will match the name of the animation. Now select a walk animation. When you do make sure to choose the in place option so the character walks on the spot and when downloading use the without skin option. The only downloaded FBX to include the skin should be the idle animation, the default. Download as many animations as you like. I recommend a walk, dance and die. I should note that these animations without skin will only work for this character. You can't use them on another character. At this stage you should have the idle animation that includes a skin and several other animations in your download folder. When you first open Blender you will get the default scene. This includes a camera, a light and a cube. Click the cube in the Scene Hierarchy view and select Delete. You can also delete the camera and the light. We won't be needing them. Make sure we're in Material Preview mode to ensure we see textures. Then choose File, Import FBX and import the idle.fbx file that we've just downloaded from Mixamo. The one with the skin and idle animation. Once loaded you should see the night character. In the outliner at the top right, select the armature. This is the FBX file you've just loaded. Use number pad dot to zoom to this selection. It will be missing textures, indicated by the pink colour. Let's apply what you've learnt in the texturing video to fix this. Expand the armature and select Arms Human Knight in the outliner. Then switch to the Material Properties panel. Notice Knight underscore Matt. This model uses a single material and we need to update the path to three textures. Start with Base Colour. Notice File 1. Click the folder icon and in the File Selector choose Textures Human underscore Knight dot TGA. That looks better. Now use what you learnt in the previous video to add a metallic texture and a roughness texture. 
If you play the animation using the control bar at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the character show its idle animation. Double click on armature and change its name to Knight. Then expand the armature in the scene hierarchy. Find the animation and expand that. It's a long name. Change this to Idle. Now switch to the animation screen layout. At the bottom choose the Dope Sheet drop down and change it to Action Editor. And in the top left choose the drop down at the far left. This allows you to choose a variety of views. Select Nonlinear Animation. Recall we downloaded some other animations where we didn't include the skin. Import one of them now. In the outline you'll see another armature. Expand it, find the animation and rename it. Now over in the non-linear animation window, press the down arrow to add a new action. In the action editor, select the animation you've just renamed. See it pop up in the non-linear animation window. At this stage you can delete the armature you've just loaded, but don't delete the night model. Now repeat this with each downloaded animation. Import the FBX, expand the armature and rename the animation. In the non-linear animation window, press the down button to add a new action and select the animation you've just renamed. Delete the armature you've just imported. Keep repeating until all the animations are in the non-linear animation window. You can view any animation by selecting it using the checkbox and using the playback bar. Remember that model viewer is confused about camera positioning for this model. So add a mesh cube and position and scale this to fit the night. Update its material, setting alpha to zero. In settings blend mode, choose alpha blend. The box should disappear. This is an alternative to using a model viewer script to set the alpha. Now you have two approaches. Before you export the model, make sure that the only models in Outliner are the original skinned animation we renamed Knight and the scaled cube. You now have a scene that's ready to export. Choose File, Export, GLTF 2.0. In the Format drop-down, choose GLTF Binary. In the Include panel, select Nothing. That way you get everything. In the Transform panel, choose Plus Y Up. In the Geometry panel, choose UVs, Normals, Vertex Colors and Materials. With Images, Automatic. Select Compression and for the Animation panel choose Animation and Skinning but not Shape Keys unless you have Morphing in the scene. Choose a folder and a file name and press Export GLTF 2.0. Use the Model Viewer Editor to check your model. Notice that Model Viewer creates a shadow for the hidden sizing cube. If you plan to use this method for a real app then you would be better to hide the cube model using the technique described earlier. So now you know how to use Blender to prepare an animated character for a model viewer app. And in the next section I'll walk you through some tips and tricks when using the model viewer API. Keep watching!